Hi everyone, this is Miss Miharu, and this is going to be part one of my Commando Kano guide. So, first of all, who is Commando Kano? Like, what is this character? Uh, I would say it's the only true grappler of MKX, because other grapplers or like characters with command grabs don't rely on their command grabs, and they and or they don't have parries. So, like, this is the only character with parries and command grabs, except um, uh, what's he called, Sun God Kodo. Uh, I might be wrong, but if I recall correctly, that's uh, well, that's true. Um, so he use, utilizes uh, parries, command grabs, and try to break your ribs, basically. So you're not looking at a combo-heavy character, but you're looking at like a character that requires multiple reads, and try, you try to frustrate your opponent and like power bomb your way to a victory. So you lose the mid knives from Cyber and the safe 50-50s from uh, Cutthroat, and you gain this sort of, uh, I don't know what you should call it, like more mind game Kano's. Like it, there's still guesses involved, like just like 50-50s, but there's more mind games to Commando Kano than his other variations. So what does he gain? He gains uh, really fast command grabs. Uh, oops. Forward command grab is 11 frames, and backwards command grab is 10 frames. So they're really fast, uh, which is really good for um, uh, some characters which like to put themselves at minus frames, uh, but they're still safe. Like, if they end up blocking, you can just punish them. Or it's not a punish, but you can command grab them out of their minus frames and stuff like that. Um, and it's also important, like, uh, he's one of the few characters that has, I think he might be the only character, no way, uh, Fire Torque can meter burn and decide where they end up, but without meter, you can decide where your opponent's gonna end up, like, the backwards command grab, and yeah, the forward command grab, to, like, control the screen positioning. So you have a safe string ender and choke. This is only, um, uh, minus four. So you can use it after every string and be 100% safe after uh, against every character in the game. Uh, and it's also really good anti-air. Uh, but I'll get back to that. I have a section on anti-airs. Um, then you have parries. Parries aren't the most useful thing. You have a low parry, you have a high parry. But they're super swaggy. And if you win a game with parries, uh, you win the whole game. You win the Mortal Kombat X game. So there's that. Um, you have a high damaging and excellent footsie tool in the 2-2 string. It has really good range, it's pretty fast, and does 13% on hits. Wait, does it do more? 12, sorry. Uh, you have a meter burn pop-up string, uh, which is from 3-2 that, or back 1-3. Which gives you, it switches sides and you can get some good damage off of it from like punishes, knife frame punishes from either back one or standing three. Um, and this might be controversial, but I think Command Kane has the best wake up tools in the game. He has so many options and it's really hard for your opponent to cover all of them. So he's really hard to Oki and he's really hard to keep in the corner. Uh, so, yeah, I would say he has the best wake-up tools in the game. Uh, I'll go over them later as well. And he himself has really good oak as well. He has really good armor-breaking setups. Uh, and if they start delaying their wake-up, you can sort of meaty your command grabs. Oops. Oh, come on. Uh, and stuff like that. So, he has really, really good oak tools. Uh, so, but what does he lose? He, he does less meter, less damage uh, than his other variations, and it's sort of harder to come by. Um, maybe not compared to Cyber, but a lot harder than, than uh, Cutthroat. Uh, he lacks the super strong keep away. I say super strong, the stronger keep away game from uh, Cyber with the mid knives. But I would say he has comparable or even better anti uh as. Um, uh, a cyber, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. Midknives is really good in some matchups, but it's not as dominating as it was uh, like at the beginning of the game. Uh, and of course, he lacks the safe 50 50s and the huge damage from Cutthroat. 
Uh, and this is sort of like the big drawback of Commando. Like, why would you use Commando over uh, Cutthroat? Uh, but I think it's a more fun variation, and I think there's some matchups where he, where he really uh, shines. And the last like weakness I would say is that his corner game is sort of weak. Uh, I would say it's the weakest of the three variations. Uh, he has a hard time opening people up. Uh, I mean, he does have the command grabs and uh, the low string, but uh, unlike um, Cutthroat has 50-50s into plus frames, into more plus frames, into more 50-50s. So like compared to that, it's kind of weak. And Cyber, um, they go probably even, but Cyber has the really good restand and has pretty high damage with the EX up laser. So uh, it's not a bad corner game, but considering the game that MKX is, uh, it's not super good. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to bring up in this video is just his movement. Uh, he has decent um, walk back speed. It's not the best. His forward, uh, his forward walk is pretty good. Uh, his forward dash is really good, and his back dash is even better. This is going to be a big tool to get you out of pressure. Uh, keep your distance to try to whiff punish stuff with forward four or two two or what have you um, his jump however is trash it's probably the worst jump in the game um, I mean there's other characters with uh, similar jump arcs um, like uh, uh, Kung Jin but Kung Jin has awesome air tools which Commander Kana doesn't have Johnny Cage might might have a worse jump, by the way. Um, but you have your air cano ball, which makes it makes you a bit harder to end here, and you can sort of like change the trajectory. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, my voice just went to shit. <coughs> uh, you can sort of ch change the tra trajectory of their jump. Uh, I like doing like jump backs and waiting for them to do something and sort of punish it with the ball or whatever. So there's that. Okay, so this was the first part. Um, next, I'm going to go over uh, his useful normals and strengths. So stay tuned.